Split Studio, Ashley Gonzalez and Chris Thomason. Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you for staying up late yeah. with us. I know the Cowboy game kind of delayed, but again, yeah. shout out Cowboys because they won. But uh, we still have a little bit more football and those plot twists. If you haven't checked on our social media or the website, we will get to them in just yeah. a second. But first, some more foosball. Chris, take us away. All right, let's head out to Robstown. The Pickers taking on the King Gramas out of Kingsville. Kingsville. There that's you go. Why we call, that's, you know what? Yeah, both when, these when teams. They're out of, when they're out of town, what do we call them? The Kingsville King Brandon. There you go. There because you go. we have, you know, the King Mustangs here. Yeah. We don't want to confuse anybody. Yeah, here. How about Jorge Rubalcaba with a big gain Ooh. there. Kingsville in business early. Coach James Jefferson, the new coach of the Brahmas, promoted from last year. Liking what he's seeing. Former Javelina, former Seattle Seahawk. Hey, yo. There you go. All right, but no here, Javelinas. Eduardo Alvarado is going to be picked off oh. by the Pickers. Robstown in business, and oh, they were fired up. The defense getting that first turnover of the year. Woo! Then here. Get pumped, get pumped. It, yeah, they were. And then here, Timothy Sanchez gonna hit David Brasino there for the first down. Coach Gage Perry's team, they're moving the sticks, moving the sticks. They're flowing, they're flowing, they're vibing. Well, here, how about Sanchez with the keeper? He's going to fight his way down inside the five-yard line. Robstown in business, looking for that first TD of the year. Let's give it to him. Sanchez going to take it in for the score. Now, that made it 6-0. Now, there were a lot of penalties in this game, so they went back and forth on this extra point play. So this is actually an extra two-point try from the 10 oh. it's not going to work because it's going to be picked oh. off by the Bramas and we thought we might even have like a hundred yard two point conversion here. Oh no. No but it's what? not. There were two things. One there was a block in the back and two he did not make it all the way but oh, it would have been cool if he did. Regardless he keeps Robstown off the board but it's not enough. Pickers take this one at home tonight. Final 52 to 12. Gosh it is week one. You know what we got to let these ones go. Then moving on we have Orange Grove over in in Hebronville against the Longhorns. Orange Grove with the new head coach Brent Cornegie. Here we have starting in the second OG up 14 zip and looking for more. Here we have over the middle hit a minute getting it done. Extra point no good but they are still in the lead by three touchdowns. Then right before the half Hebronville trying to get something going. DeMarco Perez over the middle for the nice gain but that is a pop on that instead. OG taking advantage here breaking tackles and breaking free. It's looking good but not so fast Elias Gutierrez with the strip from behind oh. Nathaniel Salinas with the recovery for the Longhorns nice little happy ending there now to the second half here we go Orange Grove back at it again Tyler Craddock through the middle cuts to the corner adios amigo y vaya con Dios Orange Grove gets it done 32 zip final let's go ahead and Oh, my goodness, just kidding, 53 okay. nothing. my bad, you know, those delays, the rain delays, must have been that. Yeah, you know, we didn't want to, we didn't want to keep those three touchdowns, <laughs> extra ones off the board. Exactly. Uh, for Co Coach Cornegie's team, but good win for them. All right, well, we, again, we have some really interesting scores, and we've got the GP marching scoreboard coming up, but stay tuned. After the break, we're going to talk about a few of these games, so take a listen and take a look.